Hi there. I love the name of this trap. It's the Karloff Sveshnikov Vorotnikov trap. And it's named after the top GMs in my database who played it. And it's in the Kasparov variation of the Sicilian C3. E4 and the Sicilian C5, where white plays C3 on move two, supporting a D4 push in the center. Black will usually play a move like knight to F6, hitting the pawn on E4, or the move that Kasparov has played many times, D5, striking at the center, allowing E takes D5, since when the queen recaptures, queen takes on D5, that c3 square is occupied by the pawn, so there's no knight c3 to harass the queen. White can play d4 and black e6, and now an idea by white is knight to a3. Not uncommon, that knight in some variations might head back for c2 to support d4, or can go for the immediate assault with knight b5, eyeing up that c7 square, forking the king and the queen. When black plays knight f6, White indeed plays knight b5, aiming to get to c7, but black defends with no problem, knight to a6. After bishop e3 developing and black trading in the center c takes d4, white can take back with uh, maybe the bishop takes on d4 or more popular queen takes on d4. And this is where black can go wrong. Were black to play a move like bishop e7, it would pretty, be pretty much dead equal. Also quite common here is the move queen takes on d4 with slight advantage for white. But black loses immediately if he plays this natural looking move, bishop c5. It's going to be game over here. White has a simple tactic. It's not queen takes queen is no good for white because after knight takes back on d5 and bishop trades on c5 knight takes on c5 the knight on d5 is defending that c7 square so trading queens is not the way to go for white what white should do here is queen takes on c5 and now it's actually game over let's have a look why well if knight takes the queen then white's going to play knight c7 now check Queen, the king's going to move, say, to d8, and after knight takes the queen on d5, white is a piece up. If black picks up the knight on d5, then bishop takes c5, white remains a piece up. And after that capture, queen takes on c5 by white. If black were to capture with the queen, queen takes on c5, then white will continue, bishop takes on c5 after knight takes c5 again knight c7 is going to pick up that rook with a winning advantage for white so this has been the karloff sveshnikov vorotnikov trap in the sicilian c3 it's uh, taken down a lot of high class players so well worth adding this one to your repertoire thanks for watching bye bye